In today's lesson, we are going to be discussing linear functions. This is lesson 4.4. The standard is 8f1, 8f3, and 8f4. The objective is to represent linear functions using tables and graphs. The essential question is how can we model relationships between quantities? We are going to be focusing on linear functions. Each input x has exactly one output y. So a couple things are true. The rates of change, slope, is m, are constant, which makes it a straight line. So the lines are straight. Example number one. The farmer's market sells apples for $2 per pound and oranges for $1 per pound. Marjorie has $10 to spend. The function y equals 10 minus 2x represents the number of apples x and oranges y Marjorie can purchase. Graph the function and interpret the points graphed. Now we're going to use a function table to find our coordinates. Remember our x's are our apples and our y's are our oranges. So what if I had five apples? I'm going to plug it into the equation 10 minus 2 and I'm going to multiply by 5. So 2 times 5 will give me 10. 10 minus 10 will give me 0 oranges. What if I had 4 apples? Then I would have 10 minus 2 and I'm going to multiply by 4. So 2 times 4 will give me 8. 10 minus 8 will give me 2 oranges. What if I had 3 apples? Then I would have 10 minus 2 times 3. So I have 2 times 3 will give me 6. 10 minus 6 will give me 4 oranges. What if I had 2 apples? So then I would have 10 minus 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 will give me 4. 10 minus 4 will give me 6 oranges. What if I had 1 apple? Then I would have 10 minus 2 times 1. So 2 times 1 will give me 2. 10 minus 2 will give me 8 oranges. What if I had 0 apples? Then I would have 10 minus 2 times 0. So 2 times 0 is 0, so then I would be left with 10 oranges. Now I'm going to take this data and I'm going to go ahead and plot it on my graph. So our input is our x value and our output is our y value. Looking at our graph, the x-axis is labeled as the number of apples, the y-axis is labeled as the number of oranges. So if she had 5 apples, she has zero oranges. If she has four apples, she has two oranges. If she has three apples, she has four oranges. If she has two apples, she has six oranges. If she has one apple, she has eight oranges. If she has zero apples, she's going to have ten oranges. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the dots to make our line. And that is our linear function. Example number two. In this example, I have an equation y equals x minus 5. If you notice the function table, it's small. It doesn't have enough room for you to show your work. So we're going to show the work down below. If you also notice, there's no inputs given. So we're going to have to make up our own. So I'm going to choose 4, 2, 0, and negative 2. I'm going to go ahead and plug these in. So first I have 4. I'm going to subtract 5. That will give me an output of negative 1. Now I have 2. I'm going to subtract 5. That will give me an output of negative 3. Now I have 0, I'm going to subtract 5, that will give me an output of negative 5. Now I have negative 2, 
I'm going to subtract 5. That will give me an output of negative 7. I now have a set of ordered pairs, so I can go ahead and plot my function. So I have 4 minus 1. So I'm going to go to the right 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, down 1. Now I'm going to go to 2, to the right, and down 3, 1, 2, 3. Now I have 0 minus 5, so I'm going to go to 0 and down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I have negative 2, negative 7, so I'm going to go to the left 2 and down 7. Connect my dots, and I have my linear function. Example 3, y equals negative 2x. If you notice, our function table is going sideways, but that's okay, we can work with that. I don't have enough room to show my work, so I'm going to show my work down below. I'm going to go ahead and pick some points. I have 4, 2, 0, negative 2. Again, when points are not given, you can choose your own points. So I'm going to go ahead and plug these points into my equation. So I have negative 2. I'm going to multiply by 4. So negative 2 times 4 will give me an output of negative 8. Next one is going to be negative 2. I'm going to multiply by 2. So negative 2 times 2 will give me an output of negative 4. My next one is going to be negative 2 times 0. So negative 2 times 0 will give me an output of 0. My last one will be negative 2 times negative 2 will give me an output of positive 4. Now I'm going to go ahead and graph my points. So I have 4, negative 8. So to the right, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. My next one is going to be 2, negative 4. To the right, 2, 1, 2, down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. My next point is going to be at the origin, 0, 0. My last point will be negative 2, 4. To the left, 2, 1, 2, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now I'm going to connect my dots. And that is my linear function.